made apple cider vinegar in the past, and I've really enjoyed it as part of a salad dressing. This year, in addition to an abundance of apples, which means we'll probably be making some more apple cider vinegar, we also have an abundance of blueberries. I decided that I'd like to try to make some vinegar from blueberries because they do have sugar in them and that's all you need for get vinegar. The process for making vinegar is to have microorganisms convert sugars into ethanol. If you were wanting to make alcohol, you would want to prevent the next process, which is the conversion of the ethanol into acetic acid. This process requires oxygen, so when making alcohol, you need to eliminate oxygen in getting into the system. In our case, because we're making vinegar, we want to make sure that oxygen is present in the system throughout the entire process. So what I'm going to do is just grind up these blueberries I've picked so I can get the juices out of them. I don't have a particularly good setup for getting some blueberry juice, but I'm just going to try a kitchen strainer, see if that works. So out of that one quart of starting blueberries, I got almost exactly half a quart of this really thick syrupy stuff, which I think is a pretty good yield. Um, the method of squeezing it through the strainer worked very well and the pulp I got out of that was pretty dry. Being raw, it should have all the necessary microbes for causing the vinegar reactions. Despite that, I'm still going to add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar just to make sure it goes in the right direction and give it a jump start. I'll mix that in like I'll be doing daily until it's done, which should be three to four weeks. There isn't any like super good way of knowing whether it's done, you just kind of have to take a guess. I'll then put on some mesh to keep any flies out because this will have to sit out in the air um, while it is curing. So it's been a week and I just got this out to stir it and I have been stirring it daily and the first time I stirred it is all this really gelatiny mass and after stirring it that first day I added a little bit of water to it just to try to make it less gelatiny and it kind of worked but what's been happening is like this the seed kind of mash stuff has been floating to the top mostly um, and I've been stirring it back down but then it just floats to the top pretty soon after. Um, so. If I was really trying to make a vinegar, I really should have filtered this out. Um, I just didn't really have anything to do it with at the time. I found some more stuff later, but I'm not going to do it now. And making this for salad dressing, I was willing to have it a little bit thicker. Um, so maybe lessons learned. I'll see how it turns out, but we'll see. The following is just my reactions and thoughts as I taste the vinegar. Please watch all the way through as my opinion changes during the taste test, and I have some conclusions afterwards. After three weeks of this sitting out with a mesh top and stirring it every couple days, I didn't do it every day because it was a bit neglectful, forgetful I was, um, it got a really gross color and smelled really bad, so I put it in the fridge still with the mesh cover and let it sit for what ended up being four weeks. And I was pretty sure it was bad, but... Uh, my mom was willing to give it a taste, and she found that it actually was good um, vinegar, this blueberry vinegar. So um, I have here the blueberry vinegar I made, some of our homemade apple cider vinegar from this year, and some just white distilled vinegar that's store-bought. I'm going to taste these to see what the differences are. Um, 
these are both pretty manageable, but this blueberry vinegar has a it has a nice kind of early flavor, and then there's just this really strong kick that, like, I'm a bit sick right now, so it feels really good. But it's a really just, like, heavy kick that just hits you in the back of the throat. Um, so it definitely seems stronger. Um, it makes sense why it would seem stronger than this um, apple cider vinegar, because like the blueberry paste if I had that mashed up if it was like sweeter because all the sugars are getting converted to um, the acetic acid if that starts sweeter it would have a end up having a stronger vinegar flavor at the end and this white stuff is about the same as this apple cider vinegar and this is five percent acidity so I'm guessing that's probably where this apple cider vinegar is and this I'm guessing is a bit stronger Doing this repeatedly, the strong kick has gone away. Um, and this, this definitely has a starting flavor, which is more interesting than that blueberry stuff. Maybe it's just different because that one had a really strong kick. So um, maybe they're just really different between each of them. But overall, I'd say this blueberry is a um, success, though I think in the future I will try to do a better job at straining out the seeds and anything else that isn't like the liquid um, because I think that's what makes it look so gross and unappetizing. Um, what I've used the apple cider vinegar for in the past is as part of a salad dressing with oil and I'll have that in an old mustard bottle. Um, so I think I'll try that with some of this as well. I want to make it clear that the comments expressed were just the thoughts I had while initially tasting the vinegar. I've never tasted vinegar or anything else for that matter in a comparative manner. Um, I don't have measurements of acidity and in general after all the tests the three vinegars seem broadly the same. Uh, the only real conclusion I feel like I can draw from this test is that it was a success in making this vinegar because there's a tasty vinegar as the result.